It's day. What day is it today? I have no idea. It's Monday. I'm okay. losing track. So we've been here a week. We've been here. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It like and we feels, still have two weeks left. It feels like we've been here for ages, but also. It's been a week. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Hannah. This is Alex, my boyfriend, and we are here on a three week trip to what Disney World. And today we are on the way to Hollywood Studios. So we just landed in Springs, Disney Springs. It's to be a pretty stormy day. As you can see by the sky, it's yeah. very rainy, stormy. We do have a hurricane coming. We'll talk about that. I'm yeah. Sure. For the next few days, the weather is going to be like this. And until we have to bunker down, we're making the most <laughs> bunker of Bunker down, yeah, so, exactly. Um, so Hollywood Studios is on the cards today. We're just about to hop on a bus to the boardwalk. And then we're going to take our lovely little walk. We love this walk to Hollywood Studios. Do a little turn around. Look at this. Hasn't got quite the same effect with the cloudy skies, but it's still a beautiful day. There is a bus there. Oh, is that the right one? Is that our bus? Is Are we going to run for the bus? That's no. the question. I'm not going to run for it because the driver is standing outside of it. He is. That's a, that's a good... Um... Which tells me that I probably don't need to run for it. And if I did, I would look very silly. <laughs> we love a Disney bus. Disney bus. Disney bus. Spritz going on. Yeah. Good, thank you. Oh. Thank you. We are going to get a little wet today. I know. Well, that's alright. Might be a little bit of a wet and rainy vlog today. Yeah. It feels a little weird, doesn't it? It's a weird... There's a bit of a weird vibe There's a weird on. vibe. Like, even the music they were playing on the bus was a bit... <laughs> wasn't it? It was a bit, but like, it is, The eerie. whole thing has a very calm before the storm vibe to it. Yeah. I don't know if that's in me. No, I feel, I feel a bit like my chest was a bit tight. Like, am I sensing that personally, or is that the actual vibe that's happening? I don't I feel know. like everyone's a bit... I don't know. It's weird. On edge, like looking on their phones, like the yeah. lady next to me was looking at the storm on her phone. It's like, just a bit. I'm, I'm finding it a little difficult, to be honest, to like be present and enjoy a Disney day today knowing it's coming. I know. Do you know what I mean? I know. Like, I want to make like, the absolute most of today, obviously. But, well, yeah, um, exactly. Like, you want to make the most of it, but at the same time, I can't help but my brain be like, what what's are we coming do on Wednesday? What are we going to do on Wednesday? What are we going to do on Wednesday? Just like try, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's always a, the guys might get this, but there's always like a, you get a, I, like I have a sense of responsibility to, you know, make sure that you're okay and that we do the right thing and that whatever decision we make is the right one. Yeah. So I'm just like, while we're, we're going, obviously we're going to go to Hollywood Studios and I think that would be really good for me actually. Is like a Yeah, I know. Like get on some rides. But like, yeah, it's just, it's annoying. Like we had a really busy year and like I needed this vacation, right? And we're now a week into it and the cogs are turning again and I can't switch off and relax because- No, I know. You're thinking like, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? It's just the What's unknown, isn't it? It's like what we said in yeah, the car. Yeah, like how long are we going to be without power for? If we lose power at all? Yeah. You know, is there anything that we need? Then I started thinking about, like, your brain just just goes off on one. And I'm starting to think about the thousands and thousands of people that are evacuating. And then I start feeling guilty. Like, we've got three empty bedrooms in the villa. And yeah, I'm like, no. should we be, like, doing something? Yeah, like, no. Should we be, like, offering to help? Like, is it, like... Yeah. And then I want to make sure that we're doing what we should for the homeowner to, like, help him, which will mean that there's some stuff that we need to do to prepare for it, all stuff like that. So like we're heading to a Disney park, but all of these things are just going brain. on. It's and a I lot. Think we left it's the house this morning, and the queues for people getting fuel and stuff. Oh, freaked were us out! Wild, like the amount of people. It's like the apocalypse. I don't like remember that for Ian. No, but I think no, neither do I actually. But yeah, it's just hard, and I don't want to like start filming a video and just like switch on and be like, yeah. So it's kind of like it's hard to 
I'm just, I mean, so that's the way you deal with it. For me, I can't allow myself to get in my head about it because I will just freak out. I just have to be like in the Disney magic. I just yeah. have to be, whereas embrace I'm, all of that. Whereas I feel like you're not. Well, I'm having this internal fight right now that's like, yeah. let's be real and also let's be in the magic. And I'm trying, I'm going between the two. Like I'll have five minutes where I'm like, look, let's just be here now and not think about it yeah and the other half of me is like yeah but also we need to make sure that we're prepared for this and it's weird because i'm typically pretty good at being like you know whatever happens happens we'll figure it out like usually when you come to me and you say like i'm stressed about this or i'm worried about this or like what are we going to do about this it's like i'm typically quite good at being like well, mm. we'll just do what you know we'll do what we can do and you know what's meant for us will will be but with this it's kind of like well i have no control so we'll just We'll just do. I feel like you need a bit more looking after than me at the know, moment. Just, What's going on? I don't know. I just, I, I feel, I feel responsible. Right, for I'm fine. Sure right. I would tell you if I'm not fine. Of I'm fine. Yeah, I know. So, but, hey, I mean, we get to experience a oh, high stakes I... hurricane, first person. So, <laughs> to stick we around. Can put that on the bucket list. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry to you, and I'm also sorry to. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to. No, be I love that you're being real right now. Just like, like that's just a really good be, thing yes. I know and that's a really good thing because this is the reality right now Yeah, like it's, and we've got different you know, ways of dealing with it and, and that's also fine and it's also the reality of coming here at Ooh, this, at this time of year or just generally over. yeah like, exactly when, you know, I'm just stopping because I want to show how we get to this wall oh, right. so let's just give a little bit of an update so we're at the Swan and Dolphin we got off at Yacht on Beach Club Resort yeah, we got bus to Yacht on Beach then took a really nice walk took a walk around and now we are at the huge boardwalk sign I've still got something in my eye but this is the sign you can see the sign and we take the walk through the sign we're basically going to go through here and then walk all the way down there and that's going to take us to hollywood studios and we love this walk and like we've said before it's, it's pretty easy because you come to here and then just follow that water yeah literally just follow the water along and that's going to take you to hollywood studios and yeah you could take the boat or you could walk around to epcot and take the skyliner but we like to just take this nice little walk, fits in with us to a T, nice and quiet, peaceful. As you can see, absolutely nobody. Yeah, there's nobody down here at all. So yeah, look, sign here, Hollywood Studios. And I mean, on a nice blue sky, sunshine day, it's even nicer. You've got the boats that come along and it's just really pretty, really. The rain is getting heavier, I would like to just, <laughs> just say. Yeah. I feel like by the end of this day, we're gonna be soaked. That's all right. That's all right. Like, look, let's just let's <laughs> just make the most of it. He said, like, Pfft. oh my god, I am actually getting drenched. Yeah, we're right, we might need to put the camera away for a sec. Jeez. Well, I mean, if you if you're thinking we need to put the camera away every time it's going to get wet, there will be no vlog today. <laughs> yeah. Because I think. It's I know, but be... how's this going to stand in the rain? I'm a bit worried. Ah. Will it be all right? Ah. Usually we do this walk in the sun. So now we're getting just a different experience. Just getting like, a bit of a different, a different vibe. Different, yeah, yeah different lovely. Experience. Lovely. Right, we're a bit further along in this oh walk Oh my god, now. sorry. This is an exciting announcement. Attraction tickets just replied to my YouTube story and said can't wait to watch. That is an exciting announcement. We need to move that down a little bit. Oh. Oh yeah. How cool is that? That is cool. Oh. Amazing. Oh, your glasses are a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I need some wind <laughs> windscreen wipers. You anyway, oh as god, you can see, we're a bit further along in this walk now. I've had a word with myself. We're just going to enjoy it. We're just going to enjoy it. So, ignore me. I'm no, like, babe, don't no, 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 like I'm having down. my, I'm not getting myself down. I'm just like, don't like, we're, up, you know, we're, we're, we're at Disney. We need to be enjoying it. Like it's, I've, yes, I've, but also, listen, it's okay to be flipping terrified. Of course. Like, well, no, it's not even being terrified. It's just like, it just feels like there's a, there's like, there are, there is a responsibility to get it right. You know? Yeah. So anyway, so that's what we're, that's what we're dealing with a good time. up here. And then you have this one who's just like. Yeah. See, that's that's how you, you know that's how you want to be. So, boat. Look at the boat. Oh, yeah, and there's a boat coming that way, and there's another boat coming that way. We've waited a really long time to be where we are right now, so let's just be where our feet are and make the best of it. See, sometimes in a relationship you need each other because one of you might be like that 
while the other one's trying to be like all responsible and overthinking stuff as an adult. So that's the end of that now. We're going to Hollywood Studios, which is right over there. Thing didn't turn around, it was focused on me for way too long. So yeah. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna have a really good time. Of the day. We're probably gonna go to Epcot as well, aren't we? We're gonna walk back down there and we'll we nip are. into Epcot, have a little time. Quick fire see what's going on. Go cool, on then. What rides do you want to take off today? Uh, I don't really care to be honest today. Like wherever we'll you said no Disney person ever. Maybe Runaway Railway Who is this would be on there today. Yeah, I'll, wait. I'll tell you what I want to do. You want to ask me what I want to do? Well, I'll ask you. What, okay. what do you want to do today? Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Right. Slinky Dog Dash. Yeah. And the chop, 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 chop. Toy Story oh, Mania. I know one. what you meant. Yeah, Toy and Story also, Mania. At some point in this trip, I am going on my own by myself, and you're allowing me to do this. Tower of Terror. Yeah, I'm not doing that. This one doesn't like doing it. I've done it. It's the it's the up and down thing. I can't. And in it's the in the dark. I got a bit wet on that. Oh well, yeah, you jumped in a puddle. Yeah, my socks are a bit damp. I also I need a snack. We have not eaten, and it's ten to one. Well, let's figure that out. That's crazy. So yeah, like we said, if you follow that water all the way around, literally follow that lake. There's the bridge we came under. Follow it all the way down here. It literally ends at the entrance to Hollywood Studios. And no, then no, literally what we're going to show you after is once you're done here, you can literally hop on a Skyliner to Epcot. Oh, that's so cool. That is also true. Like, yeah. Just as easy as that. A couple of stormy Skyliners for you. <laughs> Look at those bad boys. Should we do that then? Are we getting on the Skyliner after 100%. this? Yeah. 100%. I'm looking forward to going yet. into Hollywood Studios. I'm excited. Yeah. Don't we don't go yet. as often as the other parks, do we? No, so I think right. I'm. I'm excited about it today. I'm also looking forward to going back to Animal Kingdom because I feel like we did that in kind of a bit of a breeze. Yeah, it wasn't a full blown. No, we did like a late afternoon visit. We could even do that tomorrow. We could do. See, like we said in uh, previous vlogs, the fact that you don't have to have park reservations. We can just do whatever we want. You can do whatever you want, when you want. Yes, yeah, so you can just get up in the morning and be like, right, we're doing that today. Which, again, is how it used to be. But obviously, I've never experienced that. No, ever. and it hasn't been like that for a really long time. So, it's good to have it back. Look at the skyliner behind you. What Just an thinking. absolute vibe. Should we put the mics on? Probably when we get in there, yeah. And I've gone for sleeves today. Oh, God. Oh, for no. the first time on this trip. That's a, bad, that's a big mistake. And I'm already regretting it. Why did you do that? We're getting clammy up that's in here. A, that's a one as well. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't. I don't really wear loose ones, do I? No. So uh, this is going to go yeah, downhill I think fast. I'm, for this. I think I might be regretting that a little bit, but that's all right. That's all right. Like it's, it's just uh, it. yeah, exactly. And it's black, so you know what that means. No sweat patches. Well, that's why I wore black. But I bought 15 t-shirts with me for this trip, and this is the first time I've worn one. You bought 15 yeah, t-shirts. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. 15 um, t-shirts. Yeah, 15 t-shirts. I bought like 23 tops with me for a 22-day trip. And so far, That's I've worn everything of colour has been wiped out for sweat marks. So we've worn white or black. Everything with sleeves was ruled out because it was too hot. So, so far, I bought about 20 too many tops with me. But I only bought one pair of jeans this year. So, um, proud of myself for that. Because usually it's three pairs and I don't wear any of them. All right, mics are connected. One's a bit wonky. Testing one two one two. Testing one two one two. One two one two. We have found these keep mics. Keep walking towards me. You know you don't have to oh, do yeah. that with the mics. We have found that the mics don't last very long. So if the we audio say very long, like three hours. Yeah, no, it's all right. Being on endlessly. But a full Disney day, you're probably going to get mic'd up content for the first half, and then <laughs> the second half might be a little bit ropey. But because otherwise you have to switch the mics on and off every time you stop recording with the camera, and that's and a that's lot just, of work. That um, we're we just not doing don't that. Need. We're not doing that. So uh, where, uh, are we going? Uh, where are we getting in? I'm oh, just round that there. way. It is a warm one, isn't it? Like really muggy. It's a muggy vibe today. All things considered. Could rain cats and dogs at any moment. They've just got to be, are we just ready be for on it? the brace. Yeah, we're ready for ready it. Ready for it. Look at the plushies. <gasps> uh -oh. Look at them. They've got loads of them over they there. They do have loads of them. They've got a little Chewbacca over yeah. there. I, I think what Star Wars. I think the first item on the uh, list today yeah. is to find something to eat. True. I'm going to use my it. new magic band. Oh yeah, of course. I'm very excited about this. Let's hope it works. And we're in. And we're Great in. Great job. Good job, everybody. Where to? Welcome to Hollywood Studios. I like this park. I love it. It's a little more cozy. I don't know how to explain yeah, that. So I'm not, not going like to. <laughs> 
It's, uh, I think because it's a little smaller, do you want to go straight in the shop? Now yes, a little look? I thought do. You might. Thought you might. Thanks. <laughs> this is the shop where you found Daisy last year, isn't it? I know. That yeah, you've been my Daisy for, Nuimo. You've been looking for the whole trip. No, and this is where I also... Was it this one where I got my bit? No. Was it other store where I got my giant uh, Mickey Mouse Yeah, that was it. it was in Hollywood Studios, though. But the other the other one. That's right, yeah. Love that. Oh, yeah. Donald Little Duck. Little spirit jersey. Yeah. A lot of lounge flies going on this year. Loving it. Oh, Scoop. sorry about that. I haven't seen this one. No, I don't remember that one. That's a cute one. It is a cute one. Love that one. But where... What else have we got? Lead on Stitch vibe. Doesn't look like there's any new ones there that you need to uh, need to acquire. This is the problem now. What are we saying about Chippendale, though? Where's Chippendale? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to get Chippendale at some point. I haven't got any Chippendales because we still haven't found the Big Feet ones, because they do have Chip and Dale Big Feet. Yeah, a long time ago though, I think. But I can't I find really them anywhere. Literally can't find them anywhere. Okay. Oh, I can smell garlic bread. Oh yeah, wow. Where's that? I don't know, but take me there. That smells good. Let's go and have a look, little look at the water. You know how it goes. I'll get the water feature in. Got to get the water feature in, you have to. Might be Hollywood and Vine where you can smell that from? Or is it, oh no, hang on. Oh. What's the leaf? No, that's a, uh, those are snacks. Those are like drinks. Blue raspberry slush there though. At Peavy's. So if you've seen us trying the slush. Oh yeah. And you're staying on Disney property and you can't get to a racetrack. There you go. You can get Hello, one from Peavy's. It's $5.79 people. It is a lot more expensive. Inflation. Look at the water. Still love to get in it. Gorgeous. I would get banned for life, but going for a swim in there. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do a little wait time check. It is looking rather busy, but that's all right. So let's see what it's saying. What's that? Is that s right, Mickey and Minnie's 50 minutes. Toy Story Mania, 45. Swirling Sauce is 30. Slinky is 65. And Tower of Terror, 30. Okay, so we've got pretty long wait times right now. Mm. That's all right though. Yes. One of my friends has sent you a tip for your blonde burning your scalp thing. Oh really? Yeah. She said, uh, I'm watching your girlfriend's stories and I feel like a stalker, but I'm so interested in the Disney stuff. Oh. She said she burnt her scalp. Yeah. <laughs> you Badly. Did. Yeah, on your story. Yeah. She said, tell her to get this for her next trip. Works really well for blonde hair. And you can't see it at all. It's in a Hawaiian tropic sun Let's protection. Do a little turn around, hang on. Yeah. Thank you for this, Kaylee. Thank you so much. Boy, it's a powder, oh my God. Yeah, That's so, so cool, so it's not gonna get my hair all greasy. Exactly, so <gasps> apparently. Love it. And then she said, That's so cool. have a nice rest of your trip. Hopefully the hurricane won't affect it too much. Aww. So there you I'm go. So even my friends now are your fans. So there is that. I'm just seeing all your friends. Um, yeah, you can no send worries. me a message. But yeah, anyway, there's a little tip there for any of the blondies. That's so handy. There we go. Now we are going kind of the backwards way around Hollywood Studios yeah. this time. We never go this way. No, we actually don't. Because we always go out towards Toy Story Mania first. Whereas this time we're kind of doing it the other way around. We're doing a, we're doing a loop. Yeah, why not? See, are we going to want to queue for Mickey and Minnie's 45 minutes? That's the question. I don't know. And we had a pretty rough experience with that last year, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, last year we queued for Cute. Mickey and Minnie's for over an hour. Got to the front, shut the ride down. Watched the pre-like show. Yeah, literally all film. the way through the screen. Yeah. And then it just, yeah, the ride broke down. But it's fine, we got a fast pass for like the next time we came. So it wasn't too bad. But um, we need to get some food, really. Yeah, I need to eat. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Like, with the it's way the parks lot. are today, you wouldn't know that there's a hurricane coming. Apart from the clouds. Apart from the weather. And the storm. But like and crowd levels, crowd levels wise, yeah. people aren't going anywhere. No, they're making the most of it. Yeah. See, the thing with Hollywood Studios is, because we don't really come here as much, I wouldn't know where to go and get something to eat. Like, where's a good... Yeah. Like, obviously, there's loads of places to eat, like quick service and stuff, but I don't know any, like... Hey, like Magic Kingdom, we've got obviously like cheeseburger spring rolls or like turkey leg. What are the things to get here? What have we got on here? We've got like a standard... This is like a, uh, I'm just not really feeling more of that. a dessert stand. I want like a hot dog or something. All right, OK. 
Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Now there is a restaurant round here that I ate in with Mikey once. Is it which a sit is like down, a quick though? service, get a tray of food type vibe round right. this corner. Okay. Let's it try is that a quick out. service, so try that we out. could try that out. Okay, well this is the place you were talking about, AFC. We'll have a little look-see. So no bueno on that side of town. We went in the ABC Commission area, which is a nice place to get out of like the heat if you wanted to and sit in the aircon and actually eat a quick service. But the menu looks really underwhelming. It was looking like... Kind of just... anemic. <laughs> Doesn't look good. The, chi the chicken burger looked like it had seen better days. Yeah, it wasn't uh, great. It wasn't a great so, time. Yeah, wouldn't really recommend that. So now we're pivoting going kind of back down the main street. I was going to say, we could get like um, a grilled cheese or something from Starbucks, okay. but then it's just a yeah. bit, it's just a bit, a bit Yeah, just like, you, you know, you come from Disney and you get a grilled cheese from Starbucks. It feels a little, <laughs> yeah. you know. It's a bit like, what are you doing? I think we'll find something. Mission complete. We've placed the mobile order and we've got coming up some chicken strips, fries and a blue raspberry slush. I'm excited to know. I'm very excited some, about this. Some Disney tenders. Yeah, everybody raves about the Disney tenders and we haven't yet tried them at all. No, but so we do keep leaving it till way too late in the day to eat. I know, we get to, what's it's the time now? Half pushing one. half past one. And now I'm starving. And I haven't eaten anything yet today, which is not advisable, don't recommend. Like, just grow up and eat breakfast, you know? We haven't even been having the Echoes this trip, have we? No, and we've got, like, Shoulder. Lucky Charms and stuff. Like, why are we not... I don't know why we're not eating. I think it was just a bit chaotic this morning, wasn't yeah. it? Trying to, you know, navigate it life. It was a bit much. Um, but we're doing good. Do you know what? Now I'm in the park... Are you feeling I'm, the vibes? I'm feeling good. Love it. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, look at where we are. Like, we can How just... Can we, not? we can just enjoy this right now. Yeah. And we've got chicken tendies on the, on the way. Did you get tendies as well? Yeah. Of course I do, I'm not going to watch you eat some Disney tendies and not get some of my own. My only concern is that I want to make sure that we get some sauce. I know, this is the problem. Should have bought the Chick-fil-A sauce in my bag. This is the only thing with eating out. You have to get I little find... squirty packets of yeah, sauce. Yeah, and, I and for someone I like to, you, no, you need like 12 of those. I will, like literally I will need 12. Now where is Backlot Express? Can we get, surely it's got maps on there, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of places to sit in here. Right? Lovely, here we are, back lock, back lock, back lot express. This looks like a really nice tucked away kind of, it's right in the corner, it's pretty quiet in here yeah. as well. Yeah, okay. I like that. Loving it, look, we can sit over that side. Now, where do I need to go to collect it? In there. In there, yeah, down there, nice. 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 This is a bit like the one in the corner by Avatar in Animal Kingdom. Yeah. I'm loving it, to be honest. Plenty of space to sit and eat. Tuck ourselves away. Um, nice to move around a bit, my bum's wet, but we're just embracing it. Yeah, I sat in a wet chair, but I was too hungry to really yeah, be Yeah, this bothered. is why these tables aren't um, occupied. It's all right. Get your blue raspberry in, yeah? This is a slush. Mm. And it's got a stitch on it. Yeah. Get that in you. You're shoving it in. I've never seen you this hungry before. Honey mustard's good. Right, this is the ranch. Loving that it's in its own little thing. Mm. Haven't seen that yet. God, I'm so going to get this on me, aren't I? Love it. Right, let's do a taste test. That is not the same as the... Uh, I was thinking that. It's not the same. It is a blue raspberry slush, but it's not the same. Oh, yeah. Mm. Have you tried the ranch? No. Oh, my God. Love these. I'll show you guys the tender. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Let me try this. The mustard sauce. Really well seasoned. Oh, I need some salt. Yeah. I haven't got any salt on there yet. Mm. So, update. It's looking very busy. All I'm thinking is the ride scenario. Maybe I'm not going to be able to do all the rides that I thought of initially, otherwise we're going to be here for hours. Do you know what? Today. I don't know what, what is going to come out of your mouth. I'm quite happy to, and just, I'm concerned. to just eat my way around Hollywood Studios and Epcot. I love the way you say this right, but within half an hour, you're going to be so Once stuffed. I've eaten this, I'll be full, yeah. What's that like? Wait a minute. What's that like? Well, you're about to find out, apparently. Loving this mustard. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Not the best ranch I've ever had. This mustard reminds me of, if anyone's had it, the Wingstop mustard that you get there. And I love the Wingstop mustard sauce. It's so good. This, however, disappointed. It's not fun to be raspberry slush. The one we got in Epcot was, though. Mm. Wasn't it? But this isn't. This is like a slush puppy. Yeah. 
if you've ever had a slush puppy before, like a, an original slush puppy. So if it doesn't say Fanta Blue Raspberry Slush, it's not. Be careful. Because it's dunk. Because we wouldn't want to big you guys up on the blue raspberry the whole time, and then you get that. Yeah. And be like, what are they going on about? Yeah, anyway, so we're going to enjoy this. And then we should see where the wind takes us, really, aren't we? Yeah. Right, we have eaten. I'm just not feeling it. If it yeah, I mean, queuing all the way out there. No. Because you queue quite a bit inside as well. That feels like that's going to be a lot longer than 45 minutes. So we basically, what's going on here is we were going to do Mickey and Minnie's. However, looking at the fact that the queue is all the way bending round outside. Yeah, the I mean, last we time we were in that, it took an hour and a half. So I'm thinking not. Do you know what it is? I'd just rather be exploring than be standing in a queue for that time. Yeah, do you too. know what I mean? Yeah. As much as I want to do it. So where's the new Monsters Inc. section going to go? I think that might be in there. I don't really know. said it was going. But like that and that ride they were talking about where you're like riding on the doors. That's going to be so cool. Yeah, I mean... Like I will, that's actually going to be insane. We will be coming back for that, I can tell you that. Well, it's just down. extremely busy in here in general today, isn't it? What we said was it could go one of two ways. Like either people are going to make their way home, cancel trips and the parks will be really quiet. Or the parks are going to be really busy everyone's trying to squeeze everything they can out of their trip before uh, and that's what they're doing before it goes shut down so that's what's I going down it might be the latter looking at uh at really? Do you yeah. want to go in here and see the, all the stuff? I love going in there. Why do you say that? Because I was just thinking, like, I ask you to do that every year and I was thinking, I won't ask you this year. It's picking up. The wind's picking up. Bat down the hatches. Milton. <laughs> so we're going in here because I know Alex loves going in here. So do I, to be fair. They call it Epcot. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, don't know when we last. We've kind of we've changed ideas a couple of times. Thank you. But as you can now see, we are getting on the Skyliner. So it's getting. I mean, you can see it out there. Uh, disgusting. We're wet. Getting pretty wet as well. So what's the plan now? The plan is to go to wet cop. We're still trying to figure out the hurricane plan at the moment. Yeah. Um, I've just had my auntie and uncle phone me, they live in Pennsylvania and they very kindly said that they would fly us to their home and they're really worried about the hurricane and I think before that phone call I was sort of like, oh we'll be fine like, I think because obviously the homeowner's like coming out and at the moment he said it'll be fine also we're getting very Thank wet on the Skyliner Welcome aboard um, the Disney Skyliner But now I'm a little video. bit worried we are on our way. So we don't know what we're going to do at the moment. It comes in waves, doesn't it? Yeah. You get like a wave of, well, oh, it'll be fine. And then like half an hour later, you get a wave of, but what if it's not? And it's just, I th feel like both of us today have been a very like, uh, <laughs> I'm getting so tonic, can I just say, this is a pink, this is a ballroom. Like once you get wet. That's not ideal. I'm actually not getting wet on this side. Weather update. Um, gross. Is the answer? For the weather is gross. It's pretty windy up here. It's pretty grey out there. We've also just had the discussion. All passengers must disembark and transfer at this station. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on earth. We just had this discussion. We've got set for Saturday books on Saturday night. Yeah, do we have to figure that out too? So we're taking a little bit of a last minute diversion and we're heading for the two resorts that we haven't been to yet. Art of Animation and Pop Century and I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah, that was a bit of a spontaneous one, wasn't it? Little diversion, I'm very excited yeah, about so this Yeah, so am I, now. we've never been this way. Can we see the waves happening in well, this vlog? Like... This, guy, this is the one where it lands over the water, isn't it, remember? <gasps> Yeah. So we've got a little bit of a uh, diversion going on. It's going to be a bit of a patchwork vlog, let's be honest. Yeah. Because we're. Yeah. I mean, we don't know what's going on. No. So it's. And we it's don't going to be know a lot of emotions. Going, we don't know what's going on the best of days. <laughs> True. With these videos. But sometimes you just have to roll with the punches, you know? Like. It's not as windy this way, are we? We're getting it? a bit wet. And, and it is what it is. So, anyway, hurricane wise, we don't know. We've got the option to leave if yeah. we want to yeah. and family to stay with which is very 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 fortunate of course part of me feels guilty if we leave why? just because of the house and like we'd have to leave a lot of our stuff here and 
like all of those things. But th this is this is just the process of like figuring out what we're gonna do. Yeah. Like you, I literally just said to Hannah, like we're going like this. You're like, no, we'll stay. And then you're like, well, or we could leave. Like, no, but like we should be alright if we stay. Uh, but what if we're not? Maybe we should leave. And then you just think like, will it just be generally less stressful if we leave? Well, yeah, it will. You know, like. And then like we could leave, say, I don't know, tomorrow. It'd have to be tomorrow. Yeah. And then we fly back Saturday morning, say. Maybe, yeah. There, but even then, this is the thing, even then, we could come, we'll, we'll, we'll speak to the homeowner and he could say, look, we still haven't got power. We could come back, not have power and be living in, Yeah. obviously. Eating, eating in the car like we did before. And like, obviously safety, like our safety is the most important thing. Yeah. Of course, but it's still. But I get that you don't want to lose like Disney time. But then of course the, not, but also there's a flipping hurricane. Here. Yeah, exactly. That. So I think <laughs> like, the, the thing is, like, there is no perfect scenario. So it's just a matter of like choosing what you're most comfortable with mm. and going with it from there. Then we talked about maybe extending our trip by a few days. If we lost a few days, we could extend our trip to the weekend. We could do that. So but then it's the Disney tickets. A lot of Disney tickets run out. Yeah. <laughs> this is just this is just what's going on in our heads, really. It's. It's exhausting. a lot. It's a lot, and it's exhausting to have to think about it constantly. And like I said at the beginning of this I'm video, like, this morning, I feel sick. Is how I feel right now. You, you know, you're trying to be present and enjoy today, but also you've got this thing that you're trying to navigate at the same time, which is why I was kind of where I was at this morning. Mm -hmm. And then I think that call you just had with your family, that what I was feeling this morning has just hit you. Yeah, I was fine. Where now I it's was, like I wasn't fine. I was just not thinking about it. Look at this, by the way, over the water. How cool is that? Oh God! I mean. That was a bit much, wasn't yeah, it? A bit of a rocky land. Cheers. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Here we are. Wow. We've never been here before. This is exciting. Now this is exciting because this is new for both of us. This is like all Brand new, new territory. I've never been here. Where are we going to go first? Pop Century or Art of Animation? I don't know. So many choices. This is very. Is it, this is now. This is weird being here because we've watched a lot of vlogs. We've watched a lot of people's vlogs here. And a lot of people stay here, don't they? Because yeah. it's like you know, a bit more relatively budget friendly. Well, these are the value resorts, aren't they? Yeah. But we have never as much as stepped foot on any of this. This is mental. How exciting! Yeah. Maybe this is the little pick me up that we needed today. Yeah. Little change of scenery. Yeah, let's have Something a little wander. A bit new. Where are we going to go? I don't, I don't Central? even know. Yeah, why not? Central. Oh, cars. Is I'm going left. Cars. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm going cars. Yeah. Decision this is made. exciting. Decision made. Oh, my gosh. I'm very excited about this. Lightning McQueen vibes. Because I've always wanted to go to Disneyland California because of the cars area. And that is coming to Disney World. It is. Yeah, that's one of the coolest things. I don't get FOMO with uh, California that often, but that looks so it good. It looks unbelievable. That it does make and me a I little bit. I love cars so much. Okay, this is actually. Oh, that's fire! That's so, so cool. cool. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. Yeah, this is sick. This is actually unbelievable. I'm checking in. <laughs> they actually have Lightning McQueen on there. Look, wow. cozy cone. <gasps> is there a mater? No oh, stop. Look all the cars down there. <gasps> Mate. Oh my god, I there love it to, there's so a, much. There's going to be a mater somewhere. They have all the They've other cars. Got to. Please, can I get a photo by Lightning of McQueen? Of course you can, yeah. This is literally all I've ever wanted, just to see Lightning McQueen in real life, oh, that's, to be honest. That is really cool. This is so cool. Look at this. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> How is this just tucked away over here? Like, this should be an attraction by itself. Look at that. Oh my god, it's Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Guess who that is up there? Can you see him? Look how cool he is. He's so cool. It's Mater! He is so cool. I love all of this. Like the pool area is awesome. Yeah, this whole area is absolute If fire. I was to stay here, I would want to be in Castle. Don't they have a giant Woody as well, though? Look, what? It's like a Toy Story land where they have like a giant Woody. Are you joking? No, 100%. Oh my God. 100%. We're going to have to find that as well. I yeah. feel like we're in a completely new... New area. ...environment. Yeah, I'm loving it. Not used to this. Loving it. <gasps> oh, mate. He looks so real. Wow. That is freaking awesome. Toll mater. <laughs> this is actually filling my heart with so much happiness because 
I have wanted to go to Cars Land at Disneyland California forever. Can't believe how good it looks. Forever. And do you remember when I came on my first trip here and I was looking for it in Hollywood Studios? Do you remember that? Uh, I was asking yeah. you where Cars Land was and, and was you were like, like oh, it's yeah. in California. Yeah, and I was gutted. <laughs> and like, this is giving me like a piece of that right now and it's making me so happy i love it oh my god look at the finding nemo section i feel like seeing it in the vlogs doesn't do it justice no, like not. being here right now yeah i'm actually really impressed yeah like it's just completely different like the theming is just amazing i love the fact that it's over the water like it's so pretty yeah it's amazing so that must be all star sports with the pins yeah so where is All-Star Music? Sense. I don't know. I can't believe how big all this it's is. It's huge, actually huge. We're gonna get copy right here. But this is absolutely unbelievable. Look at him. This is so cool. Look at that. We don't wanna get copyright. That's so cool. They are sick. <laughs> I am obsessed. That is so cool. I'm obsessed. Look at this little guy, he's rummaging. We've got a little squirrel down there. He's having a proper little, like he's burying something. Look, yeah, look, he's covered it all up. He's living his best life. And now life. he's going to know where that is. They're so clever, aren't they? He's so cute. I've always want to wanted give a squirrel. A kiss. <laughs> like, if I was going to have anything, I, w I think I would fall in love with a squirrel very quickly. Yeah, something if they were all cuddly them. and stuff. Look at him just chilling up there. And then you see some people who are like, you know, like a squirrel is literally like a rat with a bushy tail. Like, yeah, but they're still cute. Yeah, they're adorable. And like, if rats were like Remy, I would have one of them too, quite yeah, happily. exactly. If I was like eight years old, I'd lose this it. resort would literally be like heaven on earth, right? Yeah. Like imagine coming here and you're like. <laughs> <gasps> Do you know what I mean? Like, I would just be, I would just sit here yeah, crying. I mean, we're, we're like, freaking out. I mean, I am lost. Yeah, I'm lost. I don't know where the hell we There's are now. There's a big entrance there, so let's go in there. It's just like every kid's dream, literally. Literally. And what do we have here? What kind of offerings have we got in here then? The animation hall. Here we go. Smell. Here it is. Wow. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. There are so many vlogs that we have watched that have started here. Yeah, it's actually mental to and be here now. And we've never been in here ourselves. This is really cool in here though. I'm loving it. I didn't expect to like it as much as I do. Blushy. They're loving the sleepy ones for sure, aren't they? They've got the wizard. They have got the wizard as well. Love the wizard. Sorcerer Nicholas. Okay, I'm not going to be able to put a lot of this in, but Mac the Knife has just come on, and this has been the song that has been in our head for the entirety of our trip, and it, they've just played it. That is freaky. How yeah, freaky that's, is that's that? Yeah, that's weird. That is weird. Like, that's actually, of all the songs, they're playing Mac the Knife. That's weird. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I always sit backwards and I want to see it from this side. Yeah, because then you can see the water. Yeah. That was nice. Loved it. I think, yeah, if I was 12 years old, that, I mean, That'd I loved amazing. it at 31. Look at this. I love it. Gorgeous. Yeah, they're so big. I feel like I've been on a quite the walk. I know, same, that's what, my legs are tired right like, now. I was like, yeah, let's do um, Art of Animation and All Star Resort and all stuff, like there's no way yeah, I'm Yeah, I know. I'm not walking around all those in one go. <laughs> You're out of your mind. Right, what's the POA now? Honestly, who knows? I'm taking it hour by hour at the moment. Do you know what? I was talking to my mum about this before we flew out here, mm. that me and my mum are very much like, always have to like plan stuff ahead. Yeah, like, I'm think like about that. like what's coming next. Like obviously, I know you're like that. Yeah, I'm. Like, me and my mum are like, like that. that. Like, how will this impact? Like, how will this moment impact my life in five years? Mm -hmm. Is kind of like how our brains work. Whereas my sister is like, no, that's tomorrow though. I don't really. I'm not worried about that. 
I don't know how people are like that. I wish that I was though. Yeah. Because imagine like how much less stress you would have. You'd just be like, oh, da 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 da. Yeah, I always say to my time. sister, I'm like, well, have you thought about like, what, what, do you know what you're going to do like long term or like what? And she's like, no. I don't know what I'm doing next week. And she's just so blase about everything. And I'm like, good for you, almost. Yeah. Because like, in a scenario like today, that's not happening until Wednesday, so like, we've got two whole days to think about. I know, about that's the thing. I mean, you but... do have to be kind of like, what's the word? What's the word I'm thinking? This annoys me so much when this happens. We're having a time. Um, this just sums up the day, to be honest. Responsible. That's the word I was oh, looking right. for. Oh, right. Pretty basic word. Yeah, then. I know. You have to be somewhat responsible about it because you're like, well, yeah, I know it's not happening for two days, but like, we are going to have to think about... Well, yeah, if you leave it, then, then that's it. You're stuck. Yeah. So, but at the moment, category five, that's actually horrendous. That's pretty serious. But then they said it's going to weaken before it hits. Well, I think now that's the problem because it's, so, quite, it's quite hard to get like direct information because obviously social media and stuff these days is so crazy like everyone can say something mm. you've kind of got this like some people say that'll oh, be fine you can stay some people are like get water and fuel and get out now and it's hard to be like well, well who what are we am doing I, then? who am i listening to yeah i know you know and like if it hits like the coastline at category three then by the time it gets started it's probably gonna be category one and exactly then you think, well and then oh, right. we would have done all of this being concerned and stuff for absolutely nothing. Or it could be horrific. Yeah. Or you underprepare and it comes in as a, like a cat five and then you're sitting in the house hoping the walls don't blow away. You know? But then my thing is, if it was that, if they were that worried we'd inland, be, like here, we'd be evacuated. We'd be gone. And what we've said up until this point is largely that we'll follow kind of what Disney does. Yeah. If Disney don't even shut the parks. Then they're gonna, they've got to shut I do the think they'll shut the parks, but they haven't said yet, so we don't know. Well, they're just going to gauge it, I think. Oh! It did sound like we were taking off for a little. Uh, I know. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Thank you. I have not figured out getting off those things yet. No, I know, it's terrifying. Right, so we're now going to go to that one? Yeah. Right. Straight oh, over onto that. Oh, right. Why is it that busy? We could walk this. Could we? Well, I mean, Caribbean Beach is there. All right, we're walking. That was an easy decision. Well, we got to make one easy decision today, haven't we? I could do with a fountain. Beveragino. Beveragino. I've been having a bit of water, so I'm not too bad right now. I'm getting my thirst on. Look at the Riviera from here. Yeah. Just over that bridge, that is glowing. Caribbean Beach is really pretty though, especially these yellow ones. I like the yellow ones. I'm freaking out. What? Lil Mikolas is going to freak out. He's on somebody's TV. <laughs> Lil Mikolas. There he is. He's on someone's TV. Look at that. That's all he wants. <laughs> he's going to love famous. it. Yeah. <laughs> you say he's always asking about if anyone's commented on Lil Mikolas. Yeah. He loves it. Ah, uh, this sucks. Yeah. It's all right, stop. Guess who's got Mac the knife in his head again? Yeah, thanks. Um, oh, thanks. Wherever we were, Pop Century Art of Animation, can't remember. No, <laughs> we just got it out. Never, never. <laughs> it's racer. <laughs> right. Susie Tawdry. Back in town. <laughs> Look at the Riviera. I love this walk. I think yeah. we say that about all the walks. Yeah, I know. I love but this walk. We do love a walk around a resort, don't we? We do. We really do. And I hope that we've inspired somebody to give that a little go. Just to get a couple of hours away from the parks. Mm -hmm. Even if you're staying at one of these resorts, just take, just take a walk, you know? Yeah. Like the, all this Disney transport you can jump on for free. I mean, we've got the car, but like once we're here, we'll park up, move around freely. All do the transport, you know. Complete, I know, the car's back in Springs. Completely free to get on. And you can just, I mean, look at that. Look at the Riviera. <laughs> Ignore the clouds. Don't, yeah. Don't look at those. Ignore the clouds. Just look at the Riviera. <laughs> We're not worried about the clouds. That's yeah, you see what, are. dare I say it, it's nice to have a bit of a breeze today. I mean... <laughs> there's having a bit of a breeze and yeah, there's a hurricane let's, let's coming. Let's not be, be I mean, I, I don't think you'll have to worry about a breeze for the next couple of days. Uh, we laugh, but... I think we've jinxed it, because we said there's no breeze. Yeah, you were like, why it's so hot. There's absolutely no breeze, and they're like, mm, hurricane. When you arrive at each nation's pavilion, cultural hosts will be waiting to greet you in their native language. 
helping make your visit to Epcot a truly international exchange. Look at that. Epcot boy, I mean, if that's not a sight for sore eyes, you know, <laughs> there's the Eiffel Tower. That's the real one, you know, the <laughs> Eiffel Tower. But this skyline will literally take you to the entrance. It's wicked. Yeah, we quite like it. The only problem is that you see all the back of Epcot when you go, when you fly in. Yeah, I know. Grammy. To all who come but to this place I love the French pavilion. And friendship, welcome. So cool, Look at that. They did such a good job with that. I love that little section. None of that used to be there. Like it used to cut off there. Like That's there mad. would be no Please remain really good extension. Stick drop this when job. Look. Cabin, please supervise children. Bum, 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 and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Okay. I think we're just gonna wander into Epcot now. Yep. And just see what's up. It looks like it's really busy. It's especially busy from the wait everywhere. times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we just, um, we really weren't sure which side of the coin that was going to land on today. But... Um, I think everyone's like, let's just get out. Yeah, very quickly people are, people are like, right, we're going to be shut in yeah. for the next couple of days. Thank you. They don't want to miss out. So I think everyone's got the same idea, which does make sense, oh. honestly. <laughs> I don't know why we thought it was going to be dead. I just thought if it was really rainy, like people were like, oh no, I don't want to go out, but that's not... I mean, like, maybe it'll be dead tomorrow? I don't know. Right, I think we go around to the right, because we haven't actually been further this than way? France yet, have we? Yeah. That's right, yep. Yep, right, that way, yep. <laughs> what did we do last time? Did we literally come in, go on Remy's and go? Uh, well, no, we came oh, in the it front. Rained. Yeah. So we left, that makes sense. That's right. So we can kind of wander around the other way this time. And I think, obviously, we're going to need to get back to the car. Yeah. So I think maybe we go as far as we want to and then come back this way, go out that way. How dark it is over there. Ah. ah, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I would say we'll go as far around as we want to. Mm -hmm. Then we go back out where we just came in. Yeah. And catch a bus from the boardwalk back to Springs. Springs. Yeah. And then can I go, I want to go in that shop in Springs where they do the headbands with little plushies Ooh, yeah. on them. Yeah, 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 good so idea. So we can check that out. Good idea. Excited about that. Okay, so let's just give you guys an update on the wait times. Remy's is a 65 minute wait. I think that's as far as we need to go with how um, busy it is in it yeah. today. And like from when we came in the other day, and to like this, it's actually practically nuts. walked onto Remy's. Yeah. Like all of this was empty. We were saying like the streets were really empty, you whereas now. I tell you what, guys. Busy today. Tell you what. Everything's going to be all right. Why? Soaring to 20 minute wait, and I'll be well up for that. Okay. What do we think? Well, that's right at the front of I the think park, that's a good so idea. we're going to have to do a full loop. I mean, that's we'll good though. 20. That's good. We'll see how far we get. 20 minutes. Thought it might be busy. This is mobbed. Can't even see clear space. I mean, Hollywood Studios was not this busy, but it never is, I suppose. No, but I think Hollywood Studios is bit like the rides are longer, and like, the wait times are longer at Hollywood Studios. But then, like I was saying earlier, I feel like more people go to Hollywood Studios for the rides. Like yeah, waiting. whereas here you can just hang out. Yeah, so it's a bit more like balance. Eat, drink, yeah. It's not just. No, that like makes rides sense. Yeah, true. But like what we should be doing? I have no idea. If we could like fast forward in time. I know. And have like a clean look. I know. I mean, there's probably. That would be great, but we can't. There will be people watching this that are like, make up fine. your mind. <laughs> You know, but this is just like we, we have no idea, like minute to minute at the moment. I'm just like looking, but then there's not really any point in looking because it's not the same. Clue. Yeah, information's the same. And then because all that's coming, we feel like we should be out today. And then the parks are really busy, which is not typically Our vibe. how we would do it. But like literally, like without sort of filming people eating, the walls are just like lined with people sitting, standing. I mean, Jump that is a in. cue for something, to be fair. That's uh, eat to the beat thing. Page of Mr. Morris shirt. Oh my God, don't do that to me. Oh, you thought it was him? Sorry. I should say it the other way around. The shirt of Page of Mr. Morris. Sorry about that. I actually, my heart just went even more than it has been the whole day. <laughs> Sorry about that. But then I did think, hang on, you're saying that really casually, like, oh, Page of Mr. Morris shirt. Yeah, I don't think I would. I like you would be screaming. Yeah, I don't think I would say it that casually. I do kind of fancy a drink. Okay, I think we walk past because there's got to be one which is just. I know there's definitely one that does it in like a cup. That's what I want, like a big. Yeah, not really a bottle. I feel like the bottles aren't really the vibe. And they're not that cold. No. Oh, I know what you're doing. 
but I have to get just a little. I used to be obsessed you with You love this. it. Where is the train? Just things that are small fascinate me. love it. Where is it? The trains are both over the back. I'd love to sit in there. It's just so I'd love impressive. To sit in there. And, look, the and this is this has thing. been here for as long as I can remember. Like that little horse and thing there is probably like 40 years old, if not more. Look! He's so I, cool. It's so fascinating to me. Little look at the little village. The I wonder what goes on in there. Dude, this is going to be safe from the hurricane. Yeah, like these little. They're going to might need to protected. stand a few of these little guys up again after the old. Uh, keep it protected. After the old wind blows through. Can I just say, looking at my weather app, Fridays are glorious. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, I suppose this is the thing, right? If we can ride it out till Friday, we could have a sensational you know park day on Friday. What's my favourite line that I say? Batten down the hatches. Batten down the hatches. Is that your favourite line or is that well, one of your many Hannahisms? It's one of my many ones. Right, I've come over here to open this because I'm. Oh, it's raining. It is raining, yeah. Also, I'd just that. like to say my hair that I beautifully curled this morning is no longer curled. Hence no, why I put it up good. in a ponytail. But that's so fresh. The best frozen water of all time. Isn't that good? Water has never tasted so good. People are preparing for the rain. Why? Oh, they've got their... You could just see people covering up their kids and stuff. Everyone's got Why do I feel like bars. I would forget? I'd have like I'd be I'd have like a hood up and a poncho on or something and my kid would just like be drowning. Soaked. Well we've got to go back over there now, so we're on like the opposite side of the water from where we want to be. So if it starts raining, we're gonna get wet. Although we came out this morning expecting to get wet and so far. To be fair, I came out this morning thinking I'm gonna get drenched. Yeah, so far we've actually drenched. done pretty well. Look right? how prepared I am, can I just say? I've got a blister plaster in my bag. <laughs> Do you know what though? Everything that you've got as preparation it's is, raining. From, is from a mistake that you've made before. So like the reason you've got a blister plaster is because last year you had terrible blisters. It is raining, you're right. Yeah, camera's getting wet. Okay, you can almost feel people intensify as well. Like you can feel the movement get quicker. Like people Everyone goes to taking a walk tonight. Yeah. Right, let's do, go. We just, do we just bold walk it round, back round to where we came I'm, in? I'm going for getting yeah, wet. Let's, let's do it, let's walk it. I'm, I'm embracing it, well, I don't, I'm saying let's walk it like we have a choice to do anything else. <laughs> yeah, no, let's go and swim it. <laughs> but like there's a lot of people who have like prepared with umbrellas and things. We haven't done that. And we're probably walking towards those grey clouds behind you now as well. Oh my God. Um, yeah, the next 10 minutes could get pretty interesting. Okay, so we've oh. made it up. <laughs> How's that for timing? Were you just about to say we've made it out of the park without getting wet? I was just going to say we've made it out of Epcot and it's now pouring. That's all right. Um, That's all right. So this vlog's going to be all over the yeah, place. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's going to be all over the it's place. It's going to be absolute chaos. But you know really? what? When you're, when you're filming your life yeah like there are days like that i know you know so i think we need to go easier on ourselves that this vlog is not going to be like a the perfect day at disney world yeah it's not you know because at the moment it's not it isn't and there's a lot of uncertainty it is what it, it is. is what it is it is what it is over the bridge well yes i am going over the bridge i was going to say that we've skipped soaring purely because it was up to like 35 minute wait going and in the wrong direction yeah so we kind of decided against that and now we're at the boardwalk here we are and i don't know what the, the rest of the day is gonna look like shocker it's weird isn't it because we could be it's on a flight so to pennsylvania weird. in the morning we don't know yet we do not know yet i just That's i feel like have. everything we could have said to the vlog so far today we have said on both sides yeah you know? like we're gonna do this and then we're the, gonna like do that. the optimistic side is this and the more like Oh, we should leave is on the other side of it. We've talked about both of those. I mean, obviously, by the time this goes live, we'll know what we did, but at the moment, I have. <laughs> it kind of feels like we're living in an alternate universe today. Like, I'm living in an apocalypse. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's kind of the only way I can describe it, really. There is a real, I think we said this earlier in the real... video, but there is a real calm before the storm vibe. Like, everyone is, like, I'm not being funny, today. I don't think I've seen barely anyone smile today. Or not nearly yeah, as many. It's a bit more of a... Like, it's a lot, like, it's, I don't know, like, people are still obviously, like, smiling a bit, but usually everyone's, like, bouncing around, like, their energies are high. It's a bit more I of a monotone like... vibe. Yeah. Well, I think everyone feels like us, right? Yeah, cool. But that's, to... that's good to, like, that kind of makes you feel a bit better. Do yeah, you know like, what I mean? you're trying to make the most of it, like we said. Yeah. But also, like, reality is, you know, a lot of people come to Disney World to escape, you know, the chaos a lot of things and the disney bubble has a lot of like real peace to it you know like mm. and again same for us we've both had really chaotic years a lot of work and 
we were really looking forward to like having that break. But one thing that the Disney bubble can't keep out is a Cat 5 hurricane. So <laughs> there's not really, you can't just pretend it's not happening. Because we're on a tropical place. Yeah, you can't just like ignore it. Oh, is that open? Is it? The walls have gone down. Look, literally. And the lights are on. I think the walls were up when we arrived. This is the, um, what we're talking about here is the new bakery patisserie place at the boardwalk. Which used to be a sports bar. Oh the God, best yeah, let's not get on with that. An ESPN sports bar on the boardwalk. I loved it. This one's very sad about that. And we've got bakeries, you know? We've got loads of bakeries. There's a bakery over there somewhere. Somewhere else on the boardwalk, there's they, really another bakery. They shut it down when COVID hit and it had jerseys on the wall. There were football helmets everywhere. They did an amazing platter of wings. You could sit around the bar. There were TVs, like hundreds of TVs and they closed it and turned it into a bakery. How do I, we feel about that? I mean, I wish the bakery all the success in the world, <laughs> right? But I will not be going in there. You actually right. will not be going in there, out of principle. It'd be weird for me. It'd be weird anyway, for me to go um, in there. Anyway, for the people that care, this is the Cake Bake, and we've got a restaurant here. So a sit-down restaurant. Oh, it is still closed. The menu is up, but I don't really feel um, confident enough to go over and film that. Can you stop? And then we've got the Cake Bake Bakery, where I believe you'll just be able to go in and walk in over there. Do you know what they should have done with that, though? What? Made it a sports bar. Right. And here we have the Warwick ice cream, which is my favourite place ever in the whole entire world to get ice cream. Love it so much. I'm just trying to think where we can get a quick service drink, to be honest. I know, because the thing is now is we don't want we don't want a bottle, we want a, like a fountain. Yeah. Oh, Delhi Fountain. Oh. Resort Mug Refills. There's got to be somewhere in there that you can Should buy Should we try one that? Then. There's got to be. Let's, Let's try, try it here. This looks good. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. You've got your beverage, you know. You're happy. Now what? Who knows? Won't be going there on Wednesday, will we? Flying fish. Meant to be Wednesday night. Probably gonna have to move that. That's where we're supposed to be going. I'll show you guys. So that is the flying fish. And that's where we're supposed to be going on Wednesday evening. <laughs> I don't think no. we'll be doing that. No. It's kind of crazy how the trip just completely gets thrown up in the air. And I think that's like, well, it's weren't my worst nightmare. And probably a lot of people's worst yeah. nightmare. But for me, I like to know what's going on, this, when, da, 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 da. And anything besides that will usually throw me. You've got a lot better. I have got a lot better. When we first got awful. together, like if I said to you, and I think we were quite opposite in that sense, but if I said to you like, oh, we're not doing that tonight now, we're just going to do this. Mm. You'd be like, no, 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 no. I needed to know like seven working days. I needed at least a week's notice for yeah. that plan to change. Yeah. You have got a lot better, but equally, that's still going to be something that affects you, so. It does. This is quite literally my worst nightmare right now. And that's all right. Like, it's just, you know, that's just the way that you process things. Mm. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Because I think while our decision might change by the hour, so does the information that we're getting. Yeah. Tied as the fourth strongest hurricane in Atlantic history. <laughs> well, See, what's that? Affected area. Out, outer Monte Springs, Apopka. Where's all that? Apopka is the... We literally drive through it to get to Disney World from where we're staying. When it says affected, though, what does that mean? A hurricane watch means hurricane force winds are possible somewhere within this area within the next 48 hours. But then it says latest local forecast equivalent category one hurricane force wind. So then, what's where's that? Say, it says, where's it saying that? This is, this is just comes up storm alert. Just comes up on my thing on on safari when I come up. Yeah, it's really difficult to know. I mean, it literally is going directly over Orlando. I just don't know. My dream storm. Oh no, this is going to cost us a lot of money. Hey. <laughs> there are so many. Look, it's a plushy chair. <laughs> she is in her element. This is the dilemma. I really want one, but what, what characters do I get? Well, you have to get Lotso. Do you think? Yeah, out of respect. Because you love Lotso. I know I love Lotso, but what, then I'd have to make a Toy Story one. Well, right? no, and Lotso is a great colour as well. well I like. like Lotso, and then what would I have? I feel like you can't not get Mickey either. I know, but then I'd 
Do I just get Mickey a minute? Influencer at work. Best day ever. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm surprised at how controlled you were. Are you? Only getting oh, two. Only getting two. Oh, my God. How, the question is the question is not you only got two the question is how many are you going to end up with at the end of the trip well, they are really cool to be fair I'm telling myself right if I get like two now get the headband of two now then it's like what 38 dollars and then I come back tomorrow I get another plush it's just another 11 dollars yeah like, like it doesn't feel day, like you spent as much it's smart isn't it yeah that is actually exactly how my brain would work in a situation like that it's, a good idea. it's such a good idea because you can literally customise. Got one headband, you just change yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, and I suppose once you've I bought once you've bought the headband, you're kind of good to go. You can like just do whatever you want. Yeah. What's the plan now then? Um, well, we're kind of heading for World of Disney, but do you want to go in there? Do I want to go into World of Disney? Okay. Is that even a question? Nice to see that little smile on your face. Well, I've just met two of my followers. Well, one of my followers yeah. and a friend. Yeah. No, so that is crazy. Completely changed my day around. Kind of what you needed. Yeah. Well, kind of what we needed. Uh, okay. This is literally how today's gone, <laughs> right? We have literally just said, like, oh, you know, the mood is lifting, and now everyone's just had an emergency alert. Literally, you, you can hear it going off. It just, it, we, you couldn't write it today. <laughs> You actually oh. couldn't write it today. We're like, yeah, good for you. Great to see that smile on your face. And then it's like, meh, emergency. <laughs> what is life, eh? What is life? It doesn't really tell you anything, though, does it? No. Nothing that we didn't already know. No. Um, but we have had an official warning by text message. Isn't it weird? I always think it's weird that yeah, they, nothing like that. that they, whoever they is, can just send that to your phone. Yeah, that's insane. To everyone's so phone. Whoever they is, the powers that be, can communicate with all of us at the same time. We, the minions. Thank you. This is how I'm feeling today. Slightly happy and slightly terrified. Is that the abominable snowman? I love him. She just comes alive in this corner of the shop. I'm going to make an ambition one, one trip to bring this home with me. I do think you need to get one at some point. <laughs> Thought I'd lost her for a sec. Look at Eeyore sitting up there by himself as well, look. Not us just rearranging the plushies. I always feel like it's like an animal shelter where you have to display them all nice to make sure that they get picked up and taken yeah, home. No. Like they they can't be laying down because it'll be like no one will pick you up if you're laying down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> I'd be all day. Yeah, I know. Actually, Imagine if you got a job here and it was like I your job is it. just to rearrange the plushies. I would love it. Yeah, but you'd also end up taking twelve of them home every day. You'd be like, oh, that one fell on the floor. Now I have to take him home. So where were we last? Disney Springs. And a two lot ago, has happened two days ago, that was since now. then. Yeah. Um, we weren't really sure what to do with the vlog. We were kind of like, do we just continue it like when we get back? Or do we just wrap it up? So what we're going to do is explain what's going on <laughs> for the end of this vlog. And then you'll see kind of some of the stuff that we've been doing in the next one. Right? That's that the plan. Sense? That's right. the plan, yeah. So do you want to explain where we are now? <laughs> we're in Pennsylvania. Which Pocono is... Pines, Pennsylvania. Yeah which is about an hour two hours where we are now from new york new york so you last saw us at disney springs we were i'm in an hour in what to do and in the end basically we had a phone call from my family who live in pennsylvania and they said that this hurricane is looking to be really bad so if you want to come over and stay with us until it's passed or until you know everything's safe and clear to go back then you can yeah we're obviously so so grateful to them for like taking us in and looking yeah. after us. Got so, us on a flight day before the airport closed. Yeah, that was just crazy. Like yeah. we got a flight to Chicago. We then got another flight to flight to Chicago, Newark. Ran to the gate to get the <laughs> transfer had had from like, Chicago yeah. to Newark. We had like ten minutes, didn't we? So we left on Tuesday morning. Tuesday. Up Very at, early. Got up at five. Got to the airport. Flight was at nine. The car rental is currently at. 
at the airport, at the airport. just sitting in the car park at the airport basically got to Tuesday and we were like we're going to get out like we decided we were going to get out yeah. and we spoke to some people that were going to stay uh, we knew some people that were going to stay mm. uh, I know that some content creators obviously stayed with their homes but we had an offer that we were very grateful for to leave and it looked like it was going to go right over where we were staying and yeah. it did go right over so I think we were glad that we got out Mm -hmm. And while it's a lot colder up here, it's freezing. Like we are, this is the warmest stuff that we've got. We are not <laughs> I need prepared a for this weather. No, we're just we were really grateful to kind of have that option and to go and stay with familiar faces with family. And it's just all we could ever ask for, really. Sit, like, sit and wait it out. Yeah. yeah. As to what happens next. So what day are we, we on know. now? So it's Thursday today. So the hurricane went over last night. Yeah. So early we only, morning today. Yeah, we've only started to find out what was going on with the hurricane this morning. We don't yet know if the house has power. We don't know about Wi-Fi. The parks are closed today. We mm -hmm. don't know what's happening with them tomorrow. We've. I mean, we're we're really dealing with scraps at the yeah. moment. We've seen a few things from other creators that are out here that like the boardwalk is open and that people are walking around and the characters are about and things like that. We don't know anything beyond that. So at the moment, like if these are like, I felt like the vlog that we did on Monday, which is yeah. this vlog, yeah. Right, yeah. was so scrappy and messy and like almost wanted to apologize for it. But like, that, it was, it was just how that was we how feeling, it was going like, like hour by hour it was changing like yeah. we spoke to your family who were like we want to get you out then we spoke to people who were staying who were like oh it's going to be fine it was just so conflicting wasn't it, it yeah was like people saying like what are you worrying about yeah and then other people saying get the hell out yeah then like, it was cat five then it was cat four then it was it's going to weaken over land then it was disney's right in the path and it was, it was crazy. parks are going to close like so we we don't know yet what's going to happen i think i've been all right with it i think you have been a little bit like i've been bad devastated to kind of be forced out of the magic almost and you're like what about the vlogs like we really feel like you feel like you're going to be letting people down with the vlogs and things like that and, and it's so hard right because i feel like i am so so grateful for the position that we're in like yeah. it's actually ridiculous the yeah, position sure. that we're in we're compared so to most and like i feel guilty for even feeling an ounce of like oh like sad that i'm not there and sad that i'm not enjoying my holiday like how can you even think that but i mean i, I hate change i hate anything you like this, this scenario plans. right now is like just yeah. sends my mind into overdrive because i'm like i need to know when we're going back what's going on have we got power da, 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 and, and that's just completely out of my control so all i can feel right now is just grateful and just happy that we're safe and that's yeah. the most important thing and um and then we just see what happens from now really yeah, for sure you don't like things changing last minute no it so me out. the idea so of like, like <laughs> flying out of florida and hours away immediately yeah. is, is a lot for you yeah you know and that's 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 just how that is yeah it's been an adjustment we are extremely lucky to be where we are and it is beautiful here like we'll try and insert some footage and i'll be yeah. posting stuff over my instagram whilst yeah. i've been here but like seriously this coming here like i know they say everything happens for a reason as awful as this situation is and obviously we, we can't yeah. stop thinking about the people whose whole lives have been affected and their yeah. houses have been devastated you know all of that but like i mean this is coming here has like opened up my eyes to like different yeah, parts might, of america yeah l legit like yeah. it's actually insane when you when you hear like oh like pennsylvania like you don't you just don't know where it is you yeah. don't really you don't really think a lot of it but it, it is, is actually ridiculous yeah. the it's wildlife very... the scenery it's so picturesque it feels like you're walking around a movie set it's constantly yeah. it's... i mean it's not it's very different to florida like, oh obviously yeah in florida we love the heat and right now you're sitting like <laughs> wrapping your arms around yourself because it's cold yeah but here you are going to get four stunning seasons like the colors today it's obviously like fall right now and yeah. it is stunning the green and red mix of the trees this orange this yellow it is absolutely beautiful yeah. like i have fallen in love with this place in the 48 hours that we've been here yeah and we've always said like the plan has always been for us to move to the us like that is the goal we do plan on doing that and we also plan on that being a whole part of this channel yeah. on youtube so if that interests you that that is our goal stick we around do aim see to how do we that. do it um and i think we're a lot closer than yeah you know ground zero we've got some work to do and it's never easy but we're we're gonna do it and th we might move here like and then have our what? and then have our trips to florida as a vacation from our daily life up here because i i have fallen in love with this place it's absolutely gorgeous imagine the moving in vlogs imagine like moving from the uk know, to the states i know crazy so the next couple of days or the next couple of vlogs that you guys watch 
might be a bit patchy and you shouldn't feel bad that they're not Disney vlogs, okay? Because <laughs> we were kind of forced out of that. Yeah, right? I know. So, and I think maybe you guys would like to see like the reality, and that, and yeah. that's exactly what this vlog, the start yeah. of this vlog, is. Yeah, you know, you have you've done an amazing job with what you're building, and I don't want you to feel bad that for the next couple of days you're not going to be able to do Disney vlogs. And we're already thinking about extending our trip so that we can add those days on to the end. And, oh, Disney, and have also, already, yeah. Yeah, Disney have done an incredible job in already on the app, our tickets have been extended to be serviceable or usable through the 11th of October, 2025. Next year. So they have basically added an entire year for everybody's tickets that has been impacted by the closure, which is what they did last time. Yeah. So we now have the flexibility to do what we want with the tickets, which was a big one of your big things. Right? Yeah, I was so stressed because our tickets are due to run out next Friday and I'm yeah. like, we've only been in each park once. Like, there's so much we haven't done, done yeah. any of the fireworks shows, but anyway. And I think your so, big thing now is you don't want to fly home, home as in to the UK without going back God, to no. back to the magic God, so no. we are like like i said if the if the videos are a bit patchy from here that's because we we don't know what's happening tomorrow <laughs> we've got no clue like, like where we are literally. right now all we know is what we're doing today we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow we don't know what's happening with the parks no idea so if the if the videos are a bit patchy until we resettle in florida if we resettle in florida fingers crossed that we do we we just don't know no. So we thought we'd update you to end this vlog off and then we'll update you on when we get back to yeah, like, we get back to Florida. Fingers crossed when we obviously take a flight back to Florida. We're gonna vlog all of that and yeah. going back and, yeah. and it'll be good to show like how the connecting flights work here because yeah. it's actually blew my mind. Yeah. Like how I like it because it's opened Han's mind up to how easily we can fly it's just around like jumping the US. on a flipping train, it's even easier. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's insane. You go literally from like this to like all the way over in another flipping place in America. It's yeah, amazing. I've been trying to tell you that like, we should explore a bit more, so I'm really glad that we did that. Right, because you're now Han, Florida obsessed. Han, He's got the idea, that. but yeah, we are both Florida obsessed. But like, this is this might be home because we're yeah, we might be looking back on this video and be like, that, yeah, that like, was when it all changed. Yeah, yeah, we love Florida. Obviously, I've always loved Florida, but I've also only ever really known Florida. Mm. And you do like, obviously, especially with the way the weather is going down there and things like that. We think we might be better suited to having our vacation down there, but calling home somewhere maybe a little bit more up in the north mm. obviously we've got a long way to go but you've got to have a plan right and but don't let the blue sky behind us fool you it's freezing it's actually so ridiculous so like i'm contemplating buying a coat right now but yeah i mean let us know if you were impacted by it obviously give us an update let us know what you're doing hands on our socials keeping in check with everybody as well but we didn't really know how to end this video so we kind of thought we'll just sit down and tell you so it's been a Where lot of talking in this yeah. video i think been a lot of ups and downs but that was just the reality of what we were dealing with and figuring it out. So, yeah. So in the next one, we're going to be doing a Pennsylvania vlog, and then after that, I, honestly, Who knows? we could be anywhere. Who after knows? that, we do not know. <laughs> we do not know. But thank you so much for watching, and yeah, we'll see you wherever we are in the next video. Yeah. Bye.